The right honorable Chibikiri Utimiyamichi, who holds the national honor of commander of the Order of the Niger CUN, is a Christian Catholic and Knight of St. John. He is married to Dame Judith Amichi, with whom he has three sons. Amichi led the APC to victory, defeating a sitting president as director general of the Muhammad Buhari presidential campaign in 2015. He did it again in 2019 and secured a second term for President Buhari. He currently serves as Minister of Transportation two times with lots of accomplishments in rail, maritime, and aviation sectors. As Governor of River State, Right Honorable Amechi overhauled the education sector and rebuilt the health sector with 260 primary health centers, three ultra modern hospitals, over 300 primary schools, and 24 modern secondary schools, all meeting international best standards. He also facilitated yearly overseas scholarship for university education through the Special Overseas Scholarship Scheme of the River State Sustainable Development Agency, RSSDA. An agency he established by law to see the need of the rural people on fast track development and through the River State Scholarship Board. His administration invested massively in infrastructure development, construction and reconstruction of road and bridges, seeking to the vision of connecting all parts of the state by road. Expansion and reconstruction of some major roads in Port Harcourt, Metropolis was achieved as well as construction of internal roads in rural areas and land reclamation in some coastal parts. With a target of 715 megawatts of power to ensure adequate power supply in the state, MH completed 460 megawatt, 130 megawatt at Trans Amadi, 150 megawatt at Omoku, 180 power watt at Afam. 75 megawatt at Onne and kick-started another 180 megawatt at Afam before the expiration of his tenure. He began talks with the federal government to allow River State to distribute its power to ensure regular power supply to the people. Right Honorable Chibike Reutimi Amechi is a presidential aspirant on the platform of All Progressive Congress APC. He was past Minister of Transportation, Federal Republic of Niger and former Governor of River State. He was born in Ubima Ikweri local government area of River State on 27 May 1965 to late elder Fidelis Amechi and his loving wife Mrs. Mary Amechi. The young Chibike started his educational life at St. Teresa Primary School from 1970 to 1976 where he passed his first school living certificate, after which he proceeded to Government Secondary School or Colobiri in 1977, finishing and earning his West African School Certificate in 1982. The law to improve his lot among his peers took him to the University of Port Harcourt in 1983, where he graduated with honours degree in English Studies and Literature in 1987. The University of Port Harcourt was where he laid the foundation of his political life. Participating actively in student union politics, especially in the National Union of River State Students, NURSS, of which he was president and the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANT. On completion of his National Youth Service in 1988, he joined the services of Pamo Clinics and Hospital Limited. Earned by the former Executive Governor of River State, His Excellency Sir Dr. Peter Udili, where he worked as Public Relations Officer until 1992, where he joined the partition politics emerging as a Secretary of the National Republican Convention in the Queer Local Government area. From 1992 to 1994, he was Special Assistant to the Deputy Governor of River State and also a member of the Board of Directors of West Africa Glass Industry as well as Rinsom Palm Niger Limited. On the resumption of political activities in 1996, he joined the Democratic Party of Niger DPN in region as the State Secretary of the party's caretaker committee. He held this position until the political development was halted following the death of General Abacha. In 1999, General Adub Salam Abubakar made through his promise of handing over power to an elected civilian government. The young but astute politician was at the forefront of the horse trading which finally gave birth to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, offering himself for election as state legislator. Chibike Rotimi was a unanimous choice among the elected legislatures for the position of Speaker of the Rivers State House of Assembly in June 1999. During his tenure as Speaker, River State of House of Assembly was the most productive legislative house in Niger, generating the Nigerian Union of Journalists Assembly Correspondents Award of Excellence in June 2000. In November 2000, Amechi became the Chairman Conference of Speakers of State Assemblies, a position he held for two terms because of the trust and confidence his fellow speakers had in him. As Chairman Conference of Speakers, Rotimi 
Honorable Amechi in August 2003 established the Secretariat of the Speakers at 12 Zaria Crescent, Metama Abuja. The Secretariat under his supervision became a clearing house for those seeking legislative information and experience. At the end of May 2003, Right Honorable Amechi was returned to the House and re-elected as a Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Also in 2003, when the Assembly moved to hijack the legislative functions of the State House as enshrined in the Constitution, he led his members to victory in the famous Supreme Court's judgment that the control and supervision of local government is in the prerogative of State House of Assembly. He became governor on October 26, 2007 after the Supreme Court pronounced him the rightful candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP and winner of the April 2007 governorship election in River State. After winning his party's primaries for the 2007 elections, Amechi's name was substituted for just no good reason. Being a believer of the rule of law, he took the case to court and the Supreme Court he got his well-deserved victory, a victory for the masses. Amechi was in April 2011 re-elected for a second term in office following his outstanding performance during his first tenure. He was chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum NGF and was elected for a second term by the then government led by former President Goodluck Jonathan decided to recognize a loser. Jonah Jung of Plateau State who polled 16 votes against Amechi 19 votes as winner. Subsequently, Amechi was persecuted by his party, the PDP, until he and four other governors from the PDP and later collaborated with the Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, Congress for Progressive Change, CPC, and the All Nigerian People's Party, ANPP, to form the All Progressive Congress, APC. He actualized the Greater Potaka to City Master Plan and launched development there with the construction of the Adoki and Misimaka Stadium and the planned New River State University of Science and Technology. As Governor Amechi also sought to create job opportunities through agricultural development which serves as an alternative economy to crude oil. Hence the establishment of Songhai Rivers Initiative Farm modelled after the Songhai Farm in Port Novo, Mini Republic. The 314 hectare farm is 20 times bigger than the Songhai Farm in Port Novo. The farm employed and trained a lot of young rivers men and women in farming methods, boosting productivity with innovative technology in agriculture. Security of lives and property was his priority, transparency and accountability was his watchword. He made the office of governor as approachable as never before. He led a participatory style government maintaining constant communication with the people. He took it upon himself to remove the secrecy in the expenditure of government funds by initiating the passage of a bill setting up the River State's Due Process Commission for the exercise of due process on all River State government procurement and contracts. He also ensured the construction of public-private partnership and many other developmental policies and programs. In the area of art, Amechi adopted the Garden City Literary Festival and made it an international yearly event gathering intellectuals from different climes, seeking ways to improve the society, using literature and encouraging book reading amongst the people. Also, the Potakot Carnival popularly referred to as Kanirev was another event revived by the Amitya administration and led yearly at Christmas time, giving residents an opportunity to relax and have fun as they serve the cultural heritage of the state. As Minister of Transportation, Amitya has revamped the rail sector with the modernization of Nigeria's railway. Standard gauge rail lines are now being built and existing narrow gauge lines reconstructed. While modern and faster locomotive trains, coaches and wagons have been introduced, including containerized freight wagons. He flagged off freight services on the Tapi Wari Rail Corridor and haulage of pipeline materials for the AKK gas pipeline project. He supervised the completion of the Abuja Kaduna Rail Line, secured the contract for the Lagos Ibadan Rail Line, and has delivered the Lagos Ibadan section with massive state of the art train stations, with the extension of the line into the seaport in Apapa. He completed the Wari Tape Rail Line and is on track to deliver Lekki Deep Seaport by the end of 2022. He kick started the Kanu Kaduna Rail Line, Kanu Maradi Rail Line, Potakot Midugri Rail Line, Bani Deep Seaport, and Rail Line Industrial Park in Potakot and is working on the contract and funding of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Rail Line. The new deep seaport in Warrior and total support of the proposed Ibom Deep Seaport by the Akwaibom State Government are also in the project view. He convinced the Chinese rail company CCECC to establish a wagon assembly plant in Kajola to make Nigeria self-sufficient in the production of wagons, locomotive and other rail rolling stocks. 
He also secured the establishment of the Transportation University in Castina, a multidisciplinary university in River State, and a training of Nigerian students in Chinese universities on railway engineering. He initiated and launched the Integrated National Maritime Surveillance and Security Infrastructure Project, also known as the Deep Blue Project, would ensure the safety and security of Nigerian territorial waters and protect maritime trade in the Gulf of Guinea. Often referred to as a workaholic minister, Amiti is also overseeing the construction of inland dry seaports in different parts of the country. In Kano, he mandated the contract or of the Dala dry ports to build a primary school as part of their CSR and offer free education to children in that area. He's also ensuring that all agencies under the Ministry of Transportation are performing optimally.